there are many different types of emotions that control out our lives and that have an influence on how we live and interact with others at times it may seem like we are ruled by these emotions isn't it emotions can play an important role in how you think and behave the emotions you feel each day can compel you to take an action and influence the decisions you make about your life emotions help others to understand you better emotions allow you to understand yourself so emotions provide a valuable information to each other hello everyone how are you all this is yarupa and welcome to my channel paru sakshay patra and today i'm going to discuss about the most important topic i think that's the need of the hour we all know the basic emotions of any human being undergoes are happiness sadness fear anxiety anger stress pleasure loneliness but who doesn't like to have happiness in a higher dose among all the above if so what to do how to get it they know the key factors behind the production of our happiness is only under control of our own brain do you all know that happiness only comes from within us so there are four different happy hormones within us which keeps you and me happy these are secreted by our endocrine glands and always depends on your environment where you are living food that you eat and the exercise you do and the relationship between one and other hormones are chemicals produced by different glands across your body they travel through the blood stream acting as messengers and playing a part in many bodily processes we all know that so what why do we need to know about it especially now maybe you all get this question but in this video i'm going to tell you about how to create an environment where people can dose themselves up with happy hormones what do you mean by dose d o s e these are happy hormones how happy hormones work in our body have you had your daily dose it's a big question mark do you know these happy hormones are dose hormones regulate your mood swings and do you know that these certain hormones which are happy hormones known to help to promote positive feelings in your body including your happiness and pleasure those happy hormones include this d o s e d for dopamine s for serotonin o for oxytocin and e for endorphins how many of us know about these hormones and give importance to keep up this dose in proper proportions in our body to maintain our mood happiness and pleasures and what would be the result if it produces in lower levels and how can we increase with small changes in our lifestyle d is for dopamine and it's also for drive dopamine literally drives our brain's reward system urging us to seek pleasure and motivating us to achieve goals it also regulates our emotional responses enabling us not only to identify where rewards might be but also to take action to move towards them and dopamine is associated with pleasurable sensations along with learning memory motor system functions and more low levels of dopamine can results in a lack of enthusiasm and motivation and in self doubt and procrastination and it can also lead to obsessive and addictive behaviors how can we increase dopamine production in our brain most types of reward increase the level of dopamine in the brain which is why when improve skills achieve a goal or receive recognition or praise we always feel good o is for oxytocin and it's also for oneness oxytocin is also known as the hug or love hormone because it makes us feel loved it plays a vital role in empathy intimacy and trust and it regulates social interaction enabling us to instigate build and maintain satisfying relationships 
low levels of oxytocin can results in enhanced fear and distrust isolating behavior and feeling of loneliness which has been shown to reduce life expectancy how can we increase oxytocin in the brain most types of connection increase the level of oxytocin in brain which is why when we hug a loved one or a pet or interact spend time or collaborate with people we like we love we feel good and happy yes is for serotonin and it's also for stability yes regulates sleep appetite digestion as well as our anxiety helping us feel more emotionally settled maintain mood balance and engage more comfortably in social behavior it also regulates memory and learning ability enabling us to focus better and to both retain and recall information if it lowers our low levels of serotonin what would be the result can cause anxiety irritability insomnia pain panicness depression as well as difficulty in focusing and memory loss how can we increase serotonin in the brain a healthy mind and body increases the level of serotonin in the brain which is why when we get enough rest and sleep eat whole foods drink adequate amounts of water and look after ourselves we feel good e is endorphins and it's also for ease endorphins regulates emotional responses by interacting with the opiate receptors our natural painkillers in the brain enabling us to cope more effectively with stress and anxiety they also regulate physiological responses enabling us to cope with physical and emotional pain lower levels of endorphins can manifest in lethargy reduced tolerance to pain anxiety and a myriad of physical disorders and how can we increase endorphins in the brain physical exercise law for and foods like chocolates and chili secrete endorphins enhancing feelings of pleasure and increasing immunity which is why when we do these things we feel happy hope all of you understood what is this dose and what are these happy hormones or feel good hormones how can we boost levels of these hormones in our brain with some simple lifestyle changes which possibly improves our mood in this process scientific evidences suggest that being happy may have major benefits for your health it may also help combat stress boost your immune system protect your heart and reduce pain it may even increase your life expectancy so be happy thank you so much for watching the video and if you are watching first time please like comment and subscribe my channel this is your rupa and paru zakshay patra and i'm so happy to share with you all about the beauty of science and beauty of our brain thank you